Kids who will be out in those single digits and wind chills, it's crucial to cover and protect your body. As 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield explains, it only takes minutes before hypothermia can set in. When it comes to fighting fires, it's a race against time, and so is protecting yourself against the cold. We really don't have a lot of time to protect our skin and before we start experiencing those symptoms of frostbite. That can happen in as little as 20 or 30 minutes. Which is why layers matter. I have various gloves that I keep in my bag different levels of gloves. We're using the fire department's thermal imaging camera to take a closer look at heat. This is something that we would use to search for a victim potentially that is lost inside of a fire. The brighter the image, the more intense the heat source is. Well, the temperature is just starting to drop, but already you can tell where I'm losing the most heat. Your head actually is probably the area where you lose the most heat. About 40% of your body heat can be lost through your head. Other areas that are vulnerable include your hands and your feet. If you do have some insulation in those shoes, that will help a lot as well. But again, a big key to that is making sure that your feet are dry. Also, listen to your body, like when it starts and stops to shake. Once that shaking stops, that's a really good sign that you're in more advanced hypothermia. Because just like a fire, when it comes to the cold, it's all about time. Reporting in Overland Park, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.